Welcome back, Game of Virgins. Today we are looking at an anime community which likes to make stories of people having a good old fart on one another, or saying that the LGBTQ community does not exist. Today we're going to be looking at Getcha Cringe. Now, if you don't know what Getcha is, it's basically anime which anyone can make despite your skill level when it comes to art, but people are making some really weird stories of this anime style, such as one right here, where a toddler takes such a colossal dump on these two teenagers that they physically change skin colour. I'm not joking. And it gets much worse. The very same toddler begins to have desires of the adult nature, too impure of my Christian mind, to tell you guys for her own father. But don't worry, guys. The toddler is actually adopted for about five minutes, and before the dad even knows his wife has adopted this devil child, it's already making moves on him. Oh, I also missed out an important piece of cringe when she gets her mom to clean her area, which would demonetize me. It's just such a weird community. The type of stories people are making with these revolve a lot around, you know, just it's kind of just weird. I, I can't really describe it. Just overall weird things, to be honest, too naughty for me to say out loud, but I can show you all. Now, this next clip is honestly just so cringy that if you guys want to skip this, I will leave a timestamp down below you can skip to. But honestly, if you do skip it, you will miss honestly one of the best things which have come out of the Catcher community, which is their fantastic storytelling. And I will also be giving a running dialogue of what is going on in this story, because honestly, I don't think you'd honestly understand what is going on in this story. So here we have, um, whatever this character is meant to be, a medic, just just having a good old fart on this character. I don't really know what the point is, apparently they're asking for more. They're so keen to be farted on. Oh, and here comes their friend. Oh no, it's a small child. They're now throwing him in the middle, and they are now proceeding to fart on this small child. There's no story to this. Well, there is. The story is, get farted on. And, yeah. Right, so now gamers, we're going to have a look on Gacha Life Cringe, which is basically the subreddit where uh, they post everything which is pretty much wrong with the Gacha community. So let's see what we've got on here. Oh, oh no, I'm a disappear. Ah, okay, I didn't really do that justice, but let's see what was said. Transgender people doesn't exist. Wow, okay, we're living in 2020, get in the bin. <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Not sure if this is cringe, but this Gacha kid actually leaked her address. Leaking my address at 25 likes. Please visit me. I'm depressed. By the way, guys, a lot of the people who are making this Gacha content are apparently kids between the ages of 6 to 14 years of age. And they're taking on a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Social society problems and such as like you know spaghetti like that and they're trying to make it into this like cutesy thing to have it's, it's not a cute thing to have it's it, it sucks okay it's, it's a terrible just it's horrible to have but please visit me i'm depressed okay so imagine you guys go on discord and you get a friend request from this character daddy's little toy and i, I didn't even see this little what, what why would you have that in there what are you doing incoming friend request nah fam you're going to garbage island where you belong get in the bin this one is just titled nice original content spaghetti it isn't real you fakers get in the bin so here's a nice um here's a nice picture of what is clearly respectful towards women according to gacha if, you, if you're a woman you can't look like this you can't look like an ugly female dog you know it's just not not allowed not a real woman but if you look like a maid apparently you are a real woman because you follow these law-abiding laws knows her place cooks and cleans listens to men follows every order long hair stays a virgin till marriage will have children and is a christian if you have if you're not following these these laws ladies you're not a real woman it's just such a weird community and apparently this is very popular you can be a pregnant boy if you are gay that no that that that's not how it works. Quite literally, I don't think that's how it works. So here we have a post which, uh, like I said, just I, I don't really know who this is appealing to. You can't be diagnosed with gay and spaghetti at birth. I'm sorry, Alfina is gay and Rosilia is depressed. They're cute. Uh, yeah, obviously, th that's what every concerning mom would say. Even though we weren't perfect at birth, our mom still loved us. Well, yeah, but y you don't you don't want to make it. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. This is messed with my head. Where can I get it? Use this anti-spaghetti in lipstick. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, if that's a real thing, send me one of them if I ever do one of those um, random unboxing things where people send me stuff. Send me, a, you know, an anti spaghetti lipstick. I would love that. Don't send me sugar because I would consider it an assassination attempt on me. Woo! We hate white women, right guys? Repost if you hate white women. Medic. <laughs> I found a clown. People who have a problem with... Now, you know, I can't say this word, so I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need a word which sort of replaces this. People who have a problem with spaghetti, leave gacha. Do you have brain damage? Well, yeah, I think if you have a problem with spaghetti, then... <laughs> I mean, if you don't have a problem with spaghetti, then you just you just need to be put down. Honestly, just... If people are okay with this, guys, I recommend hitting up your boy Elon Musk and taking the next rocket ship off planet Earth. This made me cringe because of how edgy it is. Stop being a Jake Paul to me. I don't want to fall in love with you. This just screams r slash nice guys all over. The gadget community on Pixar is the worst. LGBTQ is disgusting, you freaking losers. Like WTF, girls kissing girls, boys kissing boys? LGBTQ is just littering this earth. Go die, all of you. I mean, that, that rainbow's looking pretty, pretty nice. Looking pretty fresh. Bruh, get out of my solar system. 
This one, this one's a bit of a story here, so story time, ladies and gentlemen, you know, sit down, grab a snack, and let's listen. So my younger sister started watching Gacha Life. I'm in that community, and so I don't think much of it. I've seen some of the heat in sexual content, so I told her that if I catch her watching it, she's gonna get in a lot of trouble. She's 11, by the way, Jesus, you know, 11 years of age, and she's looking at stuff like this. So she knows what's wrong and right. One day, she comes in my room, and I'm laying in my bed watching YouTube. Jack Septic Eye, if you must know. I, I don't care. And she just sits on my lap. I ask her to get off, but she just scoots forward and whispers in my ear, "Come on, Daddy, I know you want to." And I just push her off and ask her where she learns such disgusting stuff. She says she doesn't know, and of course, I didn't believe her, so I checked her YouTube history and search history. In her search history was Gacha Life, you know, Pringle Hub. Gacha Life, this word, this word also, etc. I have no idea what to do about this, since then she would always come and moan and call me daddy, right in my ear. Last night she reached her hand up my shirt and grabbed my breath. I mean, what? What is going on here? I was surprised and I told my mother, but she caused it an accident. I don't know what to do to get her to stop. Keep in, and it just ends there. This is, apparently this is an 11 year old who is whispering stuff to her sister saying, come on daddy. I mean, what? What? I don't need to make a title for you all to understand my sorrow. Support spaghetti or die homophobes. <laughs> <laughs> what? This community is so weird. I have the perfect name. Spaghetti. <laughs> what should we name the baby? <laughs> oh my god, this is... Oh, fur it's like the bootleg version of furries. Margaret, what a name, what a name. So guys, here we have another story. It just keeps getting worse. And remember guys, this is like, this is like young kids who are writing this. So it's not me not being able to actually read English. It's because they don't know about grammar. My school had a singing battle and the principal picked and she picked girls and my best friend is a boy and he kissed me and I was dead right then and I almost fell off the roof at my school and he caught me and before I fell and he kissed me again and asked me to be his girlfriend. I said sure, I will be your girlfriend and now he is watching me type this and now he's yelling at me and <laughs> and now going to hug me and kiss me again. Zero zero edit. Sorry if I'm annoying. It's just, I'm just being hate on and it's because I have cancer. <laughs> What? What? What a turn of events. How did that, how did that story go from you, you know, being in a school to falling off a roof to being kissed by your boyfriend or something to you having cancer? What? You might find your senpai here. Ah, yes, a, a young child in a playground might just find her senpai here. I mean, bruh. Do you know what? I think that's enough gacha cringe for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. Share it around. If you want me to look at more gacha-related content, let me know down in the comments down below. I'll be talking about this in my Discord over the next few days. So if you guys want to come and talk to me there or show me any gacha which I can react to, I would love to see that. I hope you gamer virgins have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time.